just want to show a short video. I was watching a very popular uh, YouTube site where the gentleman uses blocking oscillators, pulsing a coil to uh, actuate things, things similar to pendulums or uh, semi-rotating devices. And what I have here is two speaker magnets. Uh, they're joined together. They're off of large wolfers. Nothing special about them. And here I have a little plastic ruler with some nice magnets mounted on it in a particular way. And what I'm going to do is set it up here on this lab stand, this piece of stainless steel wire. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little push just to get it started. Now I'll show you in the next video. It does start itself. But anyway, let's let it go like that. I'll turn this timer on. I gave it a little too much there, but we'll let it settle down. It'll it'll quit that circular motion. And I hope you can see the timer in the background. And what you're going to see is that this uh, runs an extremely long time. And back in my early years, my science fair teacher, or my science teacher, general science, for a science fair told me that perpetual motion was something that was impossible. He told me this for a reason. Uh, he found that he could get students to put more work and more thought into projects if they they were told it was just totally impossible, especially the rebellious ones like I was. Uh, I just didn't believe anything was impossible. Uh, from that particular teacher, I don't know if I should thank him or or be mad at him for getting me in this field. But anyway, uh, what I want to show here is the two magnets, the hanging ruler. Now that's a quite a large mass on there. I'll measure that on the scales, tell you exactly what the mass is, because it's quite interesting in knowing uh, when it starts itself up. But I think you can see already that it, it has finally settled down. It's not wobbling. It's just acting like a small pendulum now. And we're a minute 27 seconds into it. So what I'll do is go ahead and let it run for a while. Uh, I don't want to try to get it any closer because the magnets are strong enough that the camera will affect the field. So that's why I'm backed up like this. I want to assure you there's no hidden coils anywhere actuating this thing. Uh, there's no reason to because this works quite, quite nicely on its own. And I'm sure you'll see that when we... Uh, when I show how it will start on its own. Actually when it starts out it just starts shaking a little bit and then starts building momentum. It takes longer for it to to start up than it does to settle down. Uh, although you've got to consider the mechanism I have up here. We do have some friction in there uh, we do have the Earth's magnetic field, which is definitely impacting these magnets. Okay, we're 2 minutes 38 seconds into it now. You can see that the arc of it has decreased, but uh, we've got a very nice swing yet. In fact, uh, it should have really stopped now if it weren't for this magnet. I think probably what I'll do is go ahead and take that out eventually and just show you that we can let it go and, and measure the amount of time it takes for that to actually come to a dead stop. Uh, with a little manipulation on weights, on the actual mass here and the number of magnets as opposed to the distance vertically and horizontally from this magnet, I've had this thing going for 10-12 hours and with an arc about what it is right now. So uh, it is possible to get these things to uh, do something on their own and I think what's quite interesting about it is how it will start itself uh, because we have here a set of static magnets and there should be no reason for it to other than normal vibration in the building or something for it to ever get started 
really it should just calm down and stay in one place and a uh, small vibration maybe should knock it around and it should settle back down but that doesn't happen and uh, yes definitely you can see that the magnets there's a strange arrangement on how they're put on there uh, but it's uh, quite effective four minutes uh, 17 seconds now and yes you can see the arc is slowing up a bit later on what I'll also do is put a piece of paper in here so we can actually look at that arc uh, it's kinda of hard to get anything into the field because it does impact it so I have to be very careful on what I do anyway I don't want to have a tape of just sitting here watching these things swing but we'll let it go to five minutes four minutes fifty two okay well there's five minutes and yes definitely you can see that the uh, the swing of the arc has slowed down but you can also see that there is definitely uh, something going on between these magnets and the speaker magnets and that's probably where it's going to settle in at right there for quite a while uh, it's going to sit there with that smaller arc and just vibrate back and forth so we're looking now at five minutes forty seconds ah heck let's go to six minutes I know uh, takes a while to load it up to YouTube but but I found it quite interesting I it's not perpetual motion I don't like that term perpetual motion because what's being done here is the shape of the fields are such that if you get the spacings and everything correctly it will not settle down and as you know maybe you don't know I'm sorry there's four magnets here on the back two here two here and three here so uh, uh, part of that is impacting what's going on okay that's long enough that's six minutes and thirty seconds we'll go ahead and at least you see the start and you'll know what's happening in the other videos so I'll go ahead and stop this timer 6 minutes 36 seconds